Before we get into this video, huns, I'm going to tell you, ignore this eye throughout the video. I've had issues with it all day. I think I'm probably going to have to go to the eye clinic about it. If you want to know what happened, I've vlogged what happened. Um, yeah, basically, if the vlog's already up, I will link it below. I'm not really sure, but as you can see, it's bloodshot and it keeps closing on us so if this eye looks weird throughout this video you're gonna have to ignore it because i had to get this video filmed today okay <laughs> Today's video I'm super excited to do, okay? I've not done a calendar unboxing on my channel before and how this came about was like so. Basically, I've seen lots of calendar unboxings on YouTube and honestly, I watch some of them, I don't watch some of them. Some of them I don't watch just because I don't want to spoil it if I end up getting that calendar and some of them I watch just out of pure nebbiness and curiosity. So I wanted to do my own calendar unboxing um, and you know what? I was in Poundland the other day and I seen it. <laughs> so this beauty here is the 12 days pampering calendar from Poundland. You can see but the packaging of this is really pretty. It's got like rose gold tints with a marble background and then like a pink overlay on the front with the writing on. Now this is only a 12 day calendar. Now it doesn't retail at a pound unfortunately but it does retail at five pound which is still super duper cheap for a calendar. So yeah this is a pampering calendar. Now I does tell you what's on in the back of it but I haven't looked because I do want to just do an unboxing of this um but yeah I seen this in Poundland I love Poundland and I thought you know what I'm gonna do an unboxing of that Poundland calendar because I'm obsessed with Poundland Poundland is life so here it is this is five pound i'm very very intrigued and we're just gonna unbox it you would let you know before i get into this video the first announcement is i have a second channel now i'm not a hundred percent sure what i'm doing with that channel to be quite honest with you i am focusing more on my main channel and main channel videos but i just wanted to let you know that i do have a second channel just in case i do decide to continue to upload on it and i'm gonna link it in the description below as well and the second thing that i want it to let you know is I'm doing lots of mini giveaways over on my Instagram this week and next week and I've got some really really good giveaways coming on my Instagram in December working in collaboration with brands and I'm so so excited to be able to give away to you guys it's one of the main things that I love doing and doing with YouTube is being able to give away and make other people have special treats so if you are one for giveaways and love entering into giveaways to see if you can win some free stuff head over to my Instagram which is Demi Donnelly a little bit as well so you can kind of see what's happening nice and cozy okay so we're going to just start one number one which is here and something I've just noticed is this calendar does not have little slots to make it easier for you to open it so that's the first disappointment there's two things in I'm going to push that one up because I don't think that's meant to be there Ugh. have is a little snowflake bath bath fizzer don't know if you can see well i hope you can see it's just a little cute snowflake back bath fizzer it actually has a really strong scent of it as well which is really impressive not gonna lie i'm not the biggest fan of cheap bath fizzers i have used poundlands ones before last year they did a range of um snowman and gingerbread christmas bath fizzers and honestly it didn't do that much for my bath i put it in the bath and i didn't get that kind of nice feeling on my body like i do with lush ones or bomb cosmetics or happy place cosmetics they're like my favorite bath bomb type um cosmetic companies and i didn't get that nice soft feel from the poundland one last year but not gonna lie i will use this and i will try it um so yeah how cute's that okay. yeah. i'm gonna try Ugh. i'm trying to like pop it oh is this one a heart shape oh this is a heart shape i didn't even know this is it or is it a soap what is this oh it's a soap oh 
Okay, so the second item we've got in day two is a cute heart-shaped soap. This little pink soap, this is honestly really, really cute. Um, I love little soaps like this. I think they're handy for like putting on the sink so people can wash their hands. Or even like just um, like in the bath and that, washing with the little soap. Not gonna lie, I'm actually quite loving this. I do love little soaps. And I'm the type of person, if I go to a hotel and they've got little soaps, I'll always take them, like all of the time. So yeah, this little soap I will 100% use. I actually really, really like this. Love it. So now we're moving on to day number three, which is this middle one. Where's the tweezers? Yeah. Oh, is it a bath bomb? So in day three, we have a little pink bath bomb. It just looks like this, just a little round bath bomb. I'm getting a subtle smell off this one, not as strong scented as the snowflake, but I am getting a subtle, subtle smell from it. It's quite a decent size. It's not like the tiniest bath bomb I've ever seen. It's not the biggest either, but yeah, it's an okay size. Um, again, like I said, I've tried a few cheaper bath bombs before and they haven't been the best, not gonna lie, but I will definitely use this. So, um, yeah, I will definitely use this at the bottom here. Not gonna lie, I think the packaging of this is actually really, really pretty. I love marble um, and pink and that. It just looks very girly and pretty. Oh, what is this? Oh my God. So I wasn't expecting this. In day number four, we have a mini little body scrub. It's in this little tub as well, which I think is amazing because usually when you get body scrubs or anything like that, they usually come in packets and advent calendars or like, you know, especially a pound land, five pound calendar. I would wouldn't expect a little tub of product. Um, this is actually so, so cute. I love how the packaging is keeping with the theme of the calendar. It's kind of like pink and white. Wow, that actually smells really nice. Um, it doesn't have a scent on it. It doesn't have a scent on it anywhere. And I'm really bad at describing scents. But that smells actually unreal. It just looks like this. It's like a clear body scrub with little pink balls in it. They're not even pink balls. I'm lying. They're little white balls. Husky smell to it. I am not mad at that at all. In fact, I love that. And I did not think I would be getting a little tub of a product in this calendar considering it was only £5. But I'm obsessed with that. I am so, so obsessed with that. Definitely my favourite so far. So that's overtook the soap. Okay, number five is up here. Okay, so we have another small filling bath fizzer. Um, not the happiest that they've decided to repeat product, even if it had just been like a different shape or something. I don't know, like a little snowman or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, two of the same product isn't that exciting. But it's not bad. This is heart shaped, so it's probably going to be another soap, I'm presuming. Ugh. Another soap. So again, this is just a little pink heart shaped soap. Like I said, I do actually like these and I am actually excited about this. But I think for an advent calendar, repeating a product is just a little bit... Well, it is a little bit cheap, isn't it? But then this calendar is really cheap, so can you complain? But even just a different shape, even if this one had been a star or something, it's just a little bit of variety. We'll shall find out. Ugh. Oh, there's nothing in. There's nothing in number seven. Oh, actually, I opened number one before there. I think this is what was meant to be a number seven because it fell through to number one. So this is actually a little bag of bath salts. And they're just in a lilac -y pink colour. Um, so this is enough for like one bath as well. It's what like you can only put all these in one bath. Like this, it's definitely variety. It's different to the other items. Um, I'm not a massive lover of bath salts. I do use them. Sometimes I just shove them in the bath. I don't actually find they do much for the bath or do much for my skin, not gonna lie. Um, oh, my eyes playing up again. Oh. Okay, so we have another bath bomb. 
Now, I'm not mad at this one because it is actually different to the other one that I received, that bath bomb I received. This one is in a green teal type of colour and does it have a smell? I'm not getting a strong scent from it. Um, but yeah, so we've got a pink and a green bath bomb. Like I said, I do love bath bombs. Cheaper ones, I'm not the massivest fan of, but I will definitely use them. So oh, this box looks a mess. Another snowflake bath fizzer. So that is three snowflake bath fizzers. Um not gonna lie, slightly disappointed at that. I thought two was like repeating the product, but to put three of the same product in, I just think that's a bit meh. Nah. It's a bit lazy Poundland. Hot soap. Again, exactly the same as the other two. Not gonna lie, slightly disappointed. That is a third product that's the same. Um, I don't, I think that's really, really lazy. Like I know this calendar is only five pounds, so I'm not like, complaining it's a super super cheap calendar it'd be great for like a younger girl or something but I just think repeating products even with a budget you could change scents you can change shapes um and I just think the exact same product is a bit lazy and it's just not very exciting opening the same product three times oh my god yay another tub of thing so now we have a little tub of body butter which just looks like this. Honestly, I think these little tubs are really, really cute. Like I said, they're so cute for taking away if you travel a lot or if you're going on holiday. And I just think they're dead, dead cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna pierce the lid of this one and smell it. Got a bit of a cold coming on, but that has absolutely no smell to me at all. I mean, I do have a bit of a cold, but like, I don't think my sense of smell is gone. Wow, that's weird. That has actually no smell at all, but it's literally just like a white little cream. And on body butter is meant to smell nice. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on my hand. Oh, it's actually really, really soft. Yeah, it's all there. Okay, I'm getting a smell now, but it is very, very, very subtle smell. But there is a smell there just a very subtle smell okay so now we are on the final date which is day 12 and this window is literally like a big star and it is one of them foot things okay this calendar is just getting ripped open one of these little hard scrubber are they for your feet are they i think they're for like hard skin on your feet i'm not a hundred percent sure um, so yeah, this is day 12. Okay, so looking at all the items that we got, my verdict of this. So for £5, do I think it's worth it? Um, I'm not going to lie, probably not. For £5, I could get five items in Poundland full size that I would probably rate better than this calendar. Um, for example... I know that you're getting 12 items however you know three of the same products i got three snowflakes and three of the hot soaps two bath bombs which not mad about i do actually like the bath bombs and i do love these little tubs of product so the body scrub is probably my favorite and then the body butter um the bath salts and then this star I'm, I'm not gonna lie i probably wouldn't purchase it having unrevealed it now um, just because I don't think there's enough variety in here, I think for a pampering session you could have done a little face mask or you could, I don't know, I just don't think there's a lot of variety in it. However, I, I do understand that it's £5 and if you do want just a cheap pampering product then I think it's okay but I probably wouldn't repurchase it knowing what's in the box. But I'm not overly impressed with this calendar, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the calendar in the comments below. Let me know, do you think it's worth it? Would you buy it? Um, I'm definitely not mad at it. I, I, you know, I will use the items just to see what they're like but it's not something that I would purchase knowing what's actually in the calendar. That was a that was a long sentence. But yeah, so this is the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the absolute world when people subscribe to my channel. I can't even explain. And without further rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, I'll let you go and I'll see you very shortly for another video. 